right? Certain Canon printers support what is called an AM1X file, which is a special file that you can use to load in a custom media type into the Canon printer driver. And so manufacturers like Canson Infinity, for example, will actually supply you with an AM1X file for those Canon printers that support this type of setup, which means that instead of looking for the compatible paper, the compatible media type in the Canon driver that Canson tells you to use, you can just select the Canson paper that you want to use in the Canon printer driver. So in order to set that up, I'll walk you through that here in this video. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Canson Infinity website. I'm going to be installing the media type for Edition Etching Rag 2. Basically, you want to go to the ICC Profiles page. Then you're going to select your printer. And then I'm going to select my printer model. Like I said, not all models support the AM1X file, but if it does, you'll see that once you select your printer here, and I'm looking for the Pro 1100, and you see here in the listing that instead of telling you which media type to select in the Canon driver, it actually says AM1X file included. That means that the file will be included with the ICC profile. So I'm looking for Edition Etching Rag 2. I'm going to select that one, click on download, and that's downloaded to my downloads folder. We'll open this up. All right, and here's the file that I downloaded. I double clicked it to expand that here. And we'll open that up. This ICC folder contains another zip file. We'll double click that. And now inside this folder, we will find the ICC profile, which you install in your computer to get access to that profile when printing. And we also have the AM1X file, which we need to add to our Canon printer driver. Now, the way you do that is you need to download the Canon media configuration tool from Canon on their website. And once you download that software, I'm going to go into my applications folder here. And we'll look for Canon, Canon utilities, media configuration tool. And here it is right here. So I'm going to double click on media configuration tool that'll launch the app. And once you launch this app, I recommend clicking on this first button here to find your printer so that it does in fact connect to your printer. It'll show you the printer here, and then you click on OK. And now we are confirming that we're communicating with the printer. Then you're going to click on this next button here, which essentially is the add or update media information. Now, before I click on that, I just want you to see here that this shows you all of the papers that are configured in the printer driver, and many of these are uh, in, uh, added by Canon by default. So these are Canon media types, and many of these cannot be deleted. But there are some empty spaces that you can add your own uh, configuration files media types. And you can see down here that I've already added a bunch of Canson media types. Now, you can save up to 35 uh, paper types, 28 is how many I have saved now. And as I said, you only get about maybe 10 that are customizable, but you can delete some of Canon's media types, the ones that do not have the cannot be deleted. You can just click on this and delete that media type if you need to clear up space and you're not going to be using that Canon paper. But for now, I still have room. So I'm gonna click on this first button. This is the one to add a media type. And then I'm gonna click on import here because we need to import that AM1X file that we downloaded from Canson's website. Click on import. I'm going to navigate now to my downloads folder, go inside these subfolders, and there's the AM1X file for Edition Etching 2. I'm going to click on open. Now we have to select it to make sure that we're actually going to add that to the printer driver. I'm going to click on next, and now it wants to confirm that we're adding that media type to this printer. I click on start, gives you a warning, click yes again. And now it's going through the actual process of adding that media type to the printer. Now this is a two-step process. Once we add it to the printer, we also want to add it to the driver itself so that we see the listing. And it will ask you now, when I click on OK here, you'll get another dialog that says, you also want to update the printer driver media information according to the base printer. We're going to say yes. And you get another window here. I'm going to click on OK. And we're going to click on update. I'm going to type in my computer password. 
Now, I believe that in this current version of the media configuration tool, there is a bug because you see here that it says fail to update media information of the driver. This has happened to me before, but I'm going to click on OK. And then you'll see here that it, it actually is added, at least in this listing. And then let's confirm that it's actually added to the printer driver. So to do that, I'm going to quit the media configuration tool. We're done with this. And I'm going to switch over to Lightroom. And because Lightroom is running, I, we need to quit Lightroom so that when we reopen it again, it reloads with all of the current settings in the printer driver, etc. I'm going to quit Lightroom. Skip the backup for this time. I'm going to launch Lightroom again. Okay, now I'm going to come down here to printer settings. And my printer is selected come over to printer options, quality and media. And here's where we set the media type. And as I mentioned before, typically when you click here, you will see the default media types. These are Canon's papers, but we have this custom category. And you see here that here's where you can actually select the actual Canson paper. And as I said, here is edition etching 3102 at the bottom. So that little error, I think is just the bug in the software. It does actually install the media type to the printer driver. And so if I was going to print onto Edition Etching 2, I would select this as the media type. Now there's no confusion about which media type is the right one. I'm actually selecting the Canson Infinity Fine Art Edition Etching 310 number two. I'm gonna click on OK, click Save here. And now I'm, I'm ready to go, essentially. Uh, one last thing, just be sure that down here in the profile section, color management section of Lightroom, we also have the addition etching uh, ICC profile selected. Because I haven't installed that profile yet, I need to install that profile, quit Lightroom, open Lightroom again. And when I do that, you're gonna come over here and it's still not gonna show here because you need to enable the profile inside of Lightroom. So I would click on other, and then I would find the profile here. Here it is right here, addition etching two. It actually looks like I did install it. so. I'm going to select that, click OK, and now I'm ready to go. Here is Edition Etching 2, and the media type is set correctly. I hope that helps you. If you have a Canon printer that supports AM1X files, getting your media type set up, once you do this once, you're good to go for any future printing.